in my Insta room and I'm actually all dressed up. Very comfortable in my bonnet and everything because I have to go down in the hotel lobby and wait for a clinic driver to come pick me up and take me to the hospital because my surgery's in the morning. So I'll see you guys at the hospital. Bye. Bye. taking a video of it but then I had not seen them like me standing in the mirror watching it like feely feely gane gane <laughs> I did this morning after my nurse came to try to like change my dressing but then she said I'm good because I'm not breathing nothing so she'll come back tomorrow to change, change my dressing I'm really happy about the results hold on oh I'm wearing a breast garment that is compressing my boob for the swelling to like go down for now i feel every sensation and movement around my right boob and my right nipple but my left boob not too much i feel it but it's not as much as the right one my prayers i don't lose both at least even if i lose one i'm good having one uh the other one the surgeon told me the amount of fat tissues that they took out from my boobs they took 795 grams from the left boob because my left boob was bigger than the right one it's even the one that is swollen more right now as you can see my left boob is swollen than the right one it was the big one it was the heavier one it was the soggy one my right boob it took 780 something i don't remember but both sum up to almost two kilos of fat tissue that they had to take you let's say two kilos of fat tissue hanging on your body causing you this pain this back pain this shoulder pain do you know how crazy it is it is do you know how crazy it sounds like i said right now it is swollen so it's all the way up here but three weeks the swelling will start calming down will go down and my boobs will start to settle and look more natural what I did was a breast reduction with a breast lift. It comes together as a package. I am so grateful for my surgery. He said I didn't bleed during the surgery. There was no excess bleeding, nothing was, everything was perfect, everything was normal. So yeah, I'm happy that God actually saw me through this surgery. I'm really, really grateful to God that I was even able to wake up and open an eye. So, I will keep you guys updated. Hi everybody, I am back again. It is a seven, I think. Go back for my doctor's appointment, my last doctor's appointment. I'm so happy with my results and how my boobs um, are looking at the moment. So the last time you guys saw me, I had like these um, dressing, white plasters that you could see on top of my boobs. 
right now they're not on there anymore because at my doctor's checkup they took it off now i just have like band-aids around the incisions so i have band-aids here and then here and then around my nipple i really really love my surgeon the goofiest funniest surgeon i've actually come across actually speaks good english made me feel at home comfortable i have to ask him all the questions that i needed so basically now i am ready to go home i'm strong i can do i've been doing everything by myself since i got here but like compared to the initial days after the surgery it was really really tough and hard but now i move around he showed my before and after and yo listen listen the difference is huge you're probably gonna see it on his Instagram as well because he asked for my content if he could post on, on, on his Instagram. So I said yes, because I'm actually filming for this. I'm really excited for you guys to see how my boobs look before and how my boobs are looking right now so that you understand the reason why I had to get a breast reduction. I didn't get a breast reduction just because I wanted uh, perky boobs or small, smaller boobs. I needed a breast reduction because the pain was too much. They gave me a few medication that I have to be taking and have to wear my garment still for six, between six to eight weeks. I've had it for a week, so I'm left with, let's say, five and seven weeks to go, okay? Then I can take it off and just free my boots and maybe be wearing sports bra. <laughs> so I asked him the size that he ended up getting uh going down to because i told him i didn't want any big boobs initially i wanted to go to a size b a b cup and he told me right from the beginning that he was going to try and go as slow as that but today at the appointment he explained that as a young lady who is planning to have kids in the future they couldn't take too much tissues which was going to stop me from breastfeeding in the future so the amount of tissues that it took, that will allow blood to flow through my nipple for me to be able to breastfeed in the future. They had to leave it to a C cup. So right now I'm a C cup, but you don't see it yet because it still looks big because it's swollen. Even right now that is swollen compared to how my boobs used to look like before, the difference is huge. Trust me guys, you, you guys are going to see the picture so <laughs> you understand what I'm talking about. Tomorrow I leave, so tonight I'm gonna start packing my bag and packing up everything that I brought. The next clip that you're gonna, you guys are gonna see will probably be me leaving home. So I'll catch you guys in the next scene and stay tuned. Hi guys, so I am finally back home in France and this is um, almost two weeks post up. I think you guys are going to see me in the next video which will be one month post-op because i'm trying to take y'all through this whole journey with me right now i feel less pain less swollen it's it's better than how it was like a week ago so um i'll see y'all in the next video i hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for one month post-op thank you guys for watching and bye